Bind of Christ. Part 3. From the 262 Readings. Please give a meditation for the lesson on the open door. As the Father knoweth me, so may I know the Father, through the Christ Spirit, the door to the kingdom of the Father. Show thou me the way. The door is through the life, the spirit of the life. Not the man, but the Christ Spirit is manifest in the Christ consciousness in the material world. So, as each do manifest in their daily walks in and before men with that Christ consciousness as the standard, so may the door be open for that entity, that soul, to so grow and magnify that Christ Spirit to the glorifying of the Father, losing self in the service to others, that in the earth his name may be established forever. What should be the basis and fundamental thoughts to be presented in the lesson on the open door? The Christ Spirit is the door, the truth, the way, not the man. For, as the Father knoweth thee, so may ye know the Father through the exemplifying of his attributes in the earth. Little by little, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little, for the glory of the Father. Not the exaltation of thine own self. The exaltation of self or the gratifying of the desires of flesh. The door closes. The preparation of selves, the application of that given is the manner in which individuals become the door for the entering in of that consciousness of the master, that presents the way, the manner of approach to the kingdom. I stand before the door and knock. Who will open? Who will become the door that will lead others to that knowledge, that appreciation of the oneness of the Son with the Father, which may be made manifest in the material world, through the application of those attributes of the Son, of the Father, in the activities of the individual. Who has learned to be truly cooperative one with another? Who has discerned self-sufficient to know wherein self stands as in relationship with its fellow man? Who has set the ideal holy in him? Who magnifies the faith in the Father, in the Son, that it may be counted to them for righteousness? Who hath virtue and understanding, that they may magnify in their lives that fellowship which brings patience and the knowing of self to be growing in grace, in nurture and admonition of the Lord day by day? He, then, it is that opens the door that he may come in and sup with him. An individual act opens the way. The door may come to mean the access of the Son of Man, the Savior, and the consciousness of the at-oneness with the creative forces that manifest in a material world. Self must open the door that he may enter in. Self will work at that job of bringing that Christ consciousness, that awareness of his presence in the material and mental affairs of life. Knowing the spirit is the life, the mental is the builder, and the physical results are the effects of the application of the knowledge or understanding toward life, light, or the spirit of any effort. So, then, measure self and self's efforts by that standard in him who went about doing good. Do thou likewise. Please explain to me, the way is open. That which makes the consciousness of the mental forces of individuals the way, the manner that the individual may open the door. And the way is ready for activity through the opening thereof. Please explain the kingdom of the Father. The consciousness of his force, power, activity, in every element of action on the part of those who without thought of self, have opened the way for the activity of the Christ consciousness in the material world. Entering in the kingdom of the Father is knowing and following and being those elements that supply the needs of that which builds in the material plane, towards the continuity of the spiritual forces manifest in the earth. One enters through that door with the Savior, that brings that necessary force in the life of others, and in saving others saves self. How came the Son of Man the way that leads to perfection in heaven and in earth? In overcoming the forces in nature and in earth, by giving of self for others. Hence becoming the savior of others becomes the son and one with the father. In meditation I had a consciousness of the Christ walking with a shepherd's rod in his hand, and beside him was one lone sheep. Again in consciousness I saw him, and there were many sheep beside him. 
Is this in any way connected with the lesson on the open door? Please explain. As he is the way and stands at the door, and those who hear his voice are his sheep and he the good shepherd, so may many become his sheep through the seeking to be one with him. This is an illustration of that which has been given, as to how one who has, does, will apply those things given in the lessons may now open the door that many sheep may enter the fold, for they hear his voice and answer by name, even as he calls, and there are other sheep I have that are not of this fold, gave he, they also will I bring, and they will be one fold. That is applied in self, in self-seeking with him, through him, through the door opened by self to him. For, even as he gave, I do nothing of myself. So may we in opening the door with him be one with him in the Father, that we all may be one in him. Take that thou hast in hand, that thou hast builded day by day, and without fear open the door that he may come in and abide with thee. For he that takes my yoke upon him and learns of me, with him will I abide day by day, and all things will be brought to remembrance that I have given thee since the foundations of the world. For thou were with me in the beginning, and thou may abide with me in that day when the earth will be rolled as the scroll. For the heavens and the earth will pass away, but my word shall not pass away. The promises in him are sure. The way ye know. How does cooperation make for an attribute to the open door? Cooperation is making self selfless in the way that the ideal of the body may be in that phase of experience, as to be led by the ideal. Thus becoming the opening of the door that he who stands and knocks may enter in. In making self selfless selfishness is obliterated, that there may be the activity of the ideal, and being led then by the spirit of truth, gains the understanding of the ideal and its operation upon the lives and activities of individuals. Thus becoming a practical application in a material world through the spirit of truth that makes not afraid, but through faith leads on to the opening of the ways in virtue, understanding and patience, in which all become the more conscious of that oneness with the Father, so that as we are known of the Father, so may we know the Father. Thus making in the material activities of the mental and the conscious mind those channels that we as individuals. Thus applying these necessary forces or activities in our own experience, become channels that the way may be known to others. Thus entering into the kingdom of heaven. This variation differentiates the kingdom of heaven from the kingdom of the Father. One is the experiences of the finite. The other is the glory with the oneness in the infinite. Thus, as individuals become aware of these activities, the kingdom of heaven is within. Even as he gave, not that this is to be attained only through transition. But through the consciousness, the awareness of the activity of the spirit of truth in and through us, as individuals, with that birthright of the sons of the Father. One with him is the way, the truth, the light, that is shed abroad in the world, the earth, that we may have that advocate with the Father in light. What is meant by the throne of the Father? The approach to being holy in the at-oneness with the Father, reached only through the abilities to leave the carnal forces and be one in spirit with the Father. He that would have life must give life. For he thought it not robbery to be equal with the Father, yet of himself did nothing, but the Father that worketh in me, through me. Do thou likewise, that thou may know the consciousness of the Christ Spirit, and experience the operation of that witness, that my Spirit beareth witness with thy Spirit, that the Father may be glorified in you, even as I am glorified in the Father through you. If ye love me keep my commandments, and I will abide with you. I will not leave thee comfortless, I will make thee aware of that glory I possessed with the Father before the world was. In such a manner may individuals become aware of the Christ consciousness and become one with the operative forces of the Christ spirit abroad in the earth. For he shall come again, even as ye have seen him go. Then shall the Christ spirit be manifest in the world, even as the Christ consciousness may make thee aware of that promised as the comforter in this material world. Then, the Christ consciousness is the Holy Spirit, or that is the promise of his presence made aware of his activity in the earth. The Christ Spirit is as the Christ in action with the Spirit of the Father. Explain and expand fully the thought that the Christ Spirit, not the man, should be the door, the truth, the way. 
as the Christ or as Jesus the man became aware of the Spirit of the Father, Holy Spirit, through those experiences of the man as he went about doing good, and at those periods when there was received those acknowledgments of the Father that he was the one who could, would, through those activities, become the Savior of man. First, as in whom I am well pleased, then as this is my Son. Hear ye him. In the overcoming, then, he is the way, the manner in which individuals may become aware of their souls that are in accord with that as may be one with the spirit of truth. The Christ spirit is the true life. Then, as individuals become aware of that ability in him to be the way, so they become the door, as representatives, as agents, as those that present the way. And the door is thus opened. And not to the man but the spirit of self that bears witness with the spirit of truth through him that overcame the world, thus putting the world under his feet. So we, as heirs of the kingdom, as brothers one with him, may enjoy that privilege, as he has given to those that hear his voice and put on the whole armor, that we may run the race that is set before us, looking to him, the author, the giver of light. For in him ye live and move and have their being. Be in that humbleness of spirit that is will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Thus do we become the children of the Father, the door to the way, and joint heirs with him in glory. Let thy yeas be yea, thy nays be nay. Let others do as they may, but for me I will serve a living God, who has shown in man. All men, everywhere. That image of the Creator, in that the soul may grow in grace, in knowledge, in peace, in harmony, in understanding. Be ye doers of the word, not hearers only. Thus ye become the door that the way, the Christ, the Savior, may enter in. For he is the way, the truth, and the light. Please explain what is meant by the secret place of the Most High. In understanding the secret place of the Most High, let's determine what in the seeker is being sought. Whether the knowledge of the interpretation of the Most High's manifestations to men, or that is determines the relationship of that manifested to the Most High. In the secret chambers of one's own heart are stored that that makes for the real activities of that soul consciousness, so is the Holy of Holies, where one meets with it they worship as their God. There has been given the manner, the way to determine as to whether a prophet is of the Spirit of God or not. They that deny the call of the prophets of old, or the burdens of the world upon the son or his death, his resurrection, are not of the spirit. For as ye have seen him go, so shall he come. As he overcame the world through the birth as one born in due season, through those varied periods when necessity and the demand of the sons of God brought forth those leaders in their proper places, so he is that one that is given power over death, hell and the grave, and in him is the power made manifest in the consciousness of him and his power in the earth. Hence we may see how the consciousness of his presence may be misconstrued when turned to selfish motives. Know that the powers of evil are loosed for the correcting of many, so are the glories of him made manifest in the hearts and lives of many.